Hey, Beanbag345 with you for a follow-up review on this Logitech M650 mouse. Um, I said it'd be a couple weeks. It's been uh, over two months, so I've had plenty of time to use it. I have formed some opinions about it that I really um, I'd like to share. Um, I know there's thousands of reviews on this already, but uh, everyone's experience is a little different. Everyone's preferences are a little different, and uh, I just like to share what I found and what I think. So here we go. Um, my main mouse that I use is a Logitech M330, um, and so when I bought this, I thought, well, man, I can't wait to get, I can't wait to use it, can't wait to see uh, how this performs. Um, I think they're phasing this M330 out. I don't think they're going to be selling it very much longer. Um, if you, I'd recommend getting one of these. Um, it's a fantastic mouse. This one, I recommend getting one of these. It is a fantastic mouse. It's different. Uh, it feels different. The there's some differences about it that uh, definitely stand out, but it is a it is a really a fantastic mouse. So um, the first thing, make sure that the mouse feels the way you want it to feel. Uh, the fit and the the fit and the size of this um, really are a, are a, they're really great for me. Um, I have medium to large hands and. Um, and I just think the fit's great. The uh, the size of it's a little bit different. The form of it's a little bit different. As you can see, the sides come in a little quicker, uh, both sides than this one does. And I, while I do I do prefer this one for the size, I've gotten used to this um, over the couple months I've been using it. I used it on and off for about a month and a half or two months. And the last couple weeks, this has been my main mouse, and um, I've really gotten used to it. I don't, uh, you know, I hold it a little different. Um, this one really, you know, that really fills out, uh, it really fills out the space between, uh, like my, my palm, this one, because the sides come in, it doesn't fill them out quite as well. Um, but I begin to hold it a little different. And, um, I mean, I think you've, you get used to, to a mouse, the more you use it. Uh, so I'm not gonna make too much, too big a deal about that, but the, the, the size of it's great. The fit of it in my hands, great. Um, there are a few other things to talk about about this that um, I really think are great too. Um, these buttons, they're they're silent buttons, and to make them silent, uh, to make them silent, basically uh, Logitech had to dampen it, it, it. They've dampened the clicks, and so um, they don't feel. They feel a little bit like regular mice, but they they just feel softer. They feel it's like more gentle. And like I said in my last video, these buttons kind of feel like a. Um, they kind of feel like a hair trigger. And um, that's what I wanted for the longest time. Uh, there's so many mice out there that have a lot of travel in the uh, they have a lot of travel in the buttons, and it makes you feel like you're pushing down an inch before they actually click. I'm like I don't want to feel I don't want to push down an inch before they click. I just want to push a little bit and have it click. And this really fits that bill. It's easy on my hands. It's uh, it's quiet to boot, and it just feels great. So um, the buttons I think are are the are the best thing about this mouse. Um, so I, I highly recommend uh, trying out a, a silent mouse uh, that Logitech does. They have a couple other models that are silent, and um, they're just going to be, depending on how much you use mice during the day, I, I click on mice probably, I mean, it's over, it's, I know it's over two or 3,000 times a day. I use, I use it constantly for everything uh, while I'm working, and so, um, so I... If you're like that and you use mice constantly like that, I would highly recommend finding um, a Logitech silent mouse that that fits your hand well. But these um, these silent clicks, uh, I, they may just save your knuckles. I don't know that uh, repetitive strain injury is real. People get have carpal tunnel and they have uh, pain across the top of their hands. I was getting it and I switched to uh, I switched to this one and that just went right away. And I, you know everyone's a little different. You get different results depending on who you are and your, you know, how your hands made and all that. But, um, but give it a try. You might find that you really, really like it. Uh, the next thing to talk about on this uh, is the Smart Wheel. I did download the software on my personal computer. Sorry, that's uh, regarding the buttons. But the Smart Wheel. So, the Smart Wheel is about um, essentially when you when you move the wheel slow. You can uh, you can feel it goes line by line. They have it set up to do that. When you want to scroll, so say you're on a big PDF document and you want to scroll quickly 
without going click, 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 click. You just flip it like that and it keeps going. See how long that went? You can get, you know, uh, depending on how you have your, uh, depending on how you have your view set up, if you got a full page view or if you're, you know, side to side, you're not side to side scrolling, but you have it uh, page width and scrolling in a PDF, you can really get to the bottom of document very quickly. And when you're when your PDF is a couple thousand pages and you're trying to get to the middle of it, I mean, you grab that you grab the bar um, on the side and you don't really use that. But man, say you you get a couple hundred pages away and you don't want to grab the bar, you just want to do it fast. This is great. It just uh, I've 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 used it a few. I started using it um, as soon as I used it. I felt the difference. And most people that have a um, that have a Logitech MX Master mouse or something like that. Uh, you, you've got that fast scroll built in, but, um, I don't have one. And this is my first, I guess my first use of a Logitech mouse with this fast scrolling wheel. It's phenomenal. Um, I just love it. Uh, it's, it's one of the things that, you know, when I was going back and forth between these mice, the thing that really made me want to keep coming back to this over and over is this, uh, is this scroll wheel. Um, it's just fantastic that it, it enhances my navigation. It makes me a little lazy. So, you know, when I'm looking at this, um, when I'm using uh, this one, usually I have to depress and drag and that'll get me going pretty fast. This can get me going. You know, I know how many pages it's going to get, depending on how I have my documents set up. And it is, um, it's consistent. It's, um, it goes fast when you want it to, then it slows down and stops. It's, uh, it's just really nice. Uh, uh, they really did a good job with this mouse. Um, these buttons, uh, so I downloaded the software uh, to be able to program these buttons, and uh, I went through the options. They weren't really, they weren't really for me. I've always been kind of a three-button mouse kind of guy. Uh, the mice that have like eight buttons on them, that's for someone else. That's not for me. So I don't, I don't want things complicated. I want things simple. I know, um, I know on the screen where there's buttons to click to do what I want to do. And so I just need three buttons. These buttons I really don't use. Um, I really don't use them at all. So, uh, it, you know, that's something that's going to vary depending on the user. So, uh, there is software that helps you do a lot of different, uh, varieties of things or a few different varieties of things, uh, that comes from Logitech. So, uh, check it out. If you have one of these, um, feel free to download it and, and make these things do something, um, you know, special, something that's going to really help you out and, uh, enhance your nav your computer navigating experience. Um, I don't, uh, the next good thing about this mouse is the battery life. Um, I started when I got the battery out and plugged it in, I think my, uh, I think my battery said 98% and I've, uh, after using it two and a half months, uh, off and on kind of for the first month and a half, and then a lot more, a lot more often increasingly, um, especially this last probably two weeks, my, my battery life's down to 95%. So, uh, that's really good. 95%. Uh, when I, when I started two months, two and a half months ago, of course, um, full-time use would probably maybe down around 92% or something like that. But, but, um, I'm really impressed with the battery life. <clears throat> Again, it uses just, um, a single double A. Um, I have connected this between, um, other Bluetooth devices. You're going to have to make it forget like take the, so for me to be successful connecting to another Bluetooth device, I had to make it forget the one it was on. Um, my computer, my work computer is always on. And so, uh, when I would try to connect this to something else, uh, I'm already connected to my work computer. So, um, you can make it connect to something else, but then your connection, the way Bluetooth works, your connection that you, uh, your primary connection, uh, is forgotten even though it's stored on the device. And so you have to make your, if you go back to it, you got to make your device forget or your, uh, computer, you know, forget the connection and then reconnect. It's kind of a pain, which is why, uh, this is so nice. You can plug this in and press that and they can, they see each other as long as you're out of range of the Bluetooth, I think for whatever else you're using or have it plugged into. Um, but I mean, don't expect the connecting, but even with the USB, even between this and your Bluetooth, don't expect it to go real smooth uh, between devices. Um, Logitech has a mouse for that. I've been meaning, I wanted to down or to um, buy and review, but I haven't tried it yet. So um, hopefully they don't discontinue it before I get some money together and buy it. <laughs> and I'll do a review on it. But um, this mouse does have this uh, gap issue that I mentioned in my last video, haven't even noticed. So that was really, it's really a non-issue. This is a great mouse. The only thing, I do have one con. I only have one con on this mouse, 
and it's the soft sides. Um, they feel so nice. Um, I was hoping they'd be with a little bit different material than uh, than this mouse had on the soft sides. Um, you can see there's some stuff, there's some junk that kind of collects up. It's mostly dust, um, dust and lint or something. I don't know, but uh, but I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a little bit of discoloration from my thumb, just uh, skin oils or whatever that discolors. And there's a little bit here. Um, I hold it like I basically hold it like this, and then and then uh, mouse. And so the main points of contact I've got are here and here, and it. Um, it just leaves a little bit of discoloration. So uh, if you don't like that, don't want to have to, I mean, I think I might be able to clear it up if I take some rubbing alcohol or something and uh, swab and kind of swab it off. Um, I'll give that a try and, and try to clear that up. But with their with their white mice, that's uh, that's been my only complaint. <clears throat> I've been using this one for quite a while. And um, I don't, I mean, it's black. You don't really notice. There's no not really discoloration that collects up a little a little dust, but um, I've got an example. My last M uh, my last M three thirty mouse I had ended up looking like that, and that's that's probably a couple weeks without cleaning it up. But um, you can see what I mean. Where my skin contacts the the soft parts, it's uh, it ends up discoloring and it looks nasty, even though it's clean. I've clean I clean this about every month, and uh, to try to keep that discoloring from becoming worse. And eventually I ended up not using this anymore. Um, and that was, that was one of the reasons, um, it just, even though it's clean, it, it just looks, um, it just looks not so good. So anyway, um, overall this, this mouse really does, uh, it, it, I, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It's a fantastic mouse. It's lightweight without feeling, um, without feeling cheap. Um, it's got, uh, this, this wheel, the fact that it's Bluetooth and it's um, it's got the dongle that you can plug into a USB. Um, you can, you, I mean, the you have versatility there. That they've just put some uh, they put some work and effort into this thing. Um, and not that they didn't with this, but it has a little bit more to it than what this does. And um, I find myself going back and forth because I love the the fit of this is a little bit better, but the wheel is so much better on this. And so that's uh, that's my follow up review. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to keep using this. I'm going to try to get this clean. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll post another few months and and uh, you guys can see what it looks like when uh, these sides get used a lot. Um, I would recommend a darker color if you're going to buy it. Um, but that's up to you. Maybe you're not as oily as me. <laughs> um, take your chances. And if you see that, uh, if you see that discoloring happen, um, get some alcohol out and swab it up and um, try to try to just keep it clean. Um, I, do, I did my other one about uh, once a month cleaning it and it's um uh, it's not getting worse than it was really but it's not any better so you've been warned and you've been recommended this is a 10 out of 10 this one's a 10 out of 10 too uh different reasons so anyway i hope you uh enjoyed my follow-up review um if you did hit that like button if you want to subscribe to see uh more content like this um i'll keep bringing it i'll probably keep bringing it anyway so <laughs> appreciate the uh appreciate the view have a great night and God bless.